Welcome back, Indian lovers. Today we're checking out Trash Goblin. So you're going to grab yourself a plate. Really cute little, I want to say like Goblin Merchant style game. It's really actually really cool what they do with this game. You're uncovering treasures, selling them, you know, doing a bunch of trinkets and being able to access uh, or be able to um, kind of sell them off in your little caravan that you're going to see here. So we're going to hop in here and check out the game for a little while. If you do like it, of course, please check the links down below as always. Welcome to the Trash Goblin Beta. In this cozy a shopkeeping game you're a little goblin with big dreams in the employ of Eamon the kind antique dealer who works upstairs your goal is to sell trinkets and save up enough money to start your very own archaeology business sacks of goblin knows what are delivered to your shop every day so chip the dirt away to find whatever is hidden underneath sell them as is or spend some time cleaning them to hawk them for a higher price once you've brought the sponge of course manage your time to make the most of every day or just enjoy pottering in cozy space it's up to you Drag the sack onto the meta, equip the chisel, and use the sack to begin chipping. Cool. Why not? Oh, wait, wait. Ta-da. All right, let's chip away. Chipping away with will gradually reveal the trinket hidden underneath. If you chip any parts containing the trinket, they're marked automatically. Rotate the whole lump by dragging. Okay, cool. I will put the center fix a little bit. I forgot how crazy loud <laughs> the, the sound effects were. Oh, that's a piece. That's a piece. This one needs a workout. There we go. We got a bottle. You got six cruft. Congratulations. You got your first trinket. First picture tool down with the right click and then drag the trinket over the stash and drop it in. You can left click on the stash to open it, check your lovely hoard, and drag stuff back out. There's a stash book on your workbench. Oh, okay, so put this down. Oh, wait. I'll be right with you. Uh -huh. Ta da! Okay, so we got one stash thing. Now let's go check out. Say hi. Good day to you. I heard. I've heard tell you the goblin to come see in search of see rare items. Well, I don't know about... Oh, you come to the right goblin. I am, in fact, looking for a hairpin. I have no luck for months now, and I what's, and I do hope your reputation is deserved. No pressure. I'm after any hairpin. Oh. Let's check out, see if we got a hairpin in here, shall we? No, with the yeah, with the purple, you have to just break off the parts that contains it. I'm gonna assume the hairpins right there. It's like magic. <laughs> You've used up all your time today. Each time you uncover a trinket, you used up one time slot. Tracked in the UI on the left side of the screen. You can still buy and sell what you have found. Talk to NPCs and explore your workshop. Let's put down our little tool here. Pop that into there. And let's go ahead and Oh, however did you know? This is exactly what I was after. I'm just that good. Deal? Deal. Oh, this is what I was talking about. I mean, uh, well, it's a fair price. I just I really like this a lot. Nice, you're for a sale. Drag that pouch of gold into your stash to claim it and have think what you might have done once by. I love his face. His face is golden. Let's have that bottle there, though. Oh, hello. Hey, Goblin. Hey, a boss man. Ugh. I told you before, I don't like it when you call me boss. It's a partnership. This boss of yours has a lovely old sponge if you're after one. Yes. That will be a hundred if my math's correct. How much? You gotta spend to earn, that's what they say. Let's go for it. Here you go, you make use of that for me later. Don't forget, I'm taking the wagon on that trip for a couple of days, so take care of the shop while I'm away. Can't wait to use it, have fun. A sponge? You'll be able to clean trinkets up and sell them for even more gold. You've done everything you can for today. Goblins don't do crunch. So navigate to your personal space and click on the bed to wrap things up. There'll be plenty more to do tomorrow. Honestly, this looks really cozy and comfortable. I'm not even gonna lie. 
Night falls on the day one. Sales hundred, purchases hundred. Unlock the preference tool sponge. <laughs> Perfect name for a sponge. Perfect. Oh, I heard it. <clears throat> hey. Oh, well, I never. A new shop that I've never visited ever before. What fun. And hello, stranger. Goblin who I never met. <laughs> Fate sash much like uh, yes, well I'm now I'm looking for a grandma's egg. Is that something you might have chance? I'll see what I can do. I'm after a clean grandma's egg. Huh. That mustache sure is uh real. Let's go pop these off here. See I've done this before. Ooh, that worked out well. A horn. Place a dirty trinket onto the mat, then with the sponge equipped, click on the... Okay. Let's go put this down. Grab the sponge. Get, get nice and squeaky clean. This is like if you're like a power wash simulator fan, this is going to be perfect for you. <laughs> this is exactly right down your alley right here. There we go. Nice and clean. Drag that in there. Okay, we're looking for a grandma's egg. So I'm gonna assume that's probably a go. What does achievement for doing this without hitting the actual item? There probably is. Hmm. Ah. No? Oh, there it is. I was like, um... Oh, this is filthy. I don't know what a grandma's egg it is anyway. It has to be something like delectable or something. There's no way that it's like versus a grandma. Just saying. Doesn't, doesn't seem likely it would birth a grandma. Who knows? Oh. I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda creepy. Um, oh, you know what it reminds me of? Remember those, those, those Russian dolls that are inside each other? It reminds me of the face of it, doesn't it? You're gonna introduce like a hard mode here where you, you can't touch the corners or something like that. Like you only touch these parts once. Wouldn't that be crazy? I think that would be absolutely nuts if they did something like that. Only for the most experienced goblin hitters. Or miners. I don't know what archaeologists? Yeah, I guess archaeologists. Oh, an elephant kettle. Oh, exactly what I wanted. It's gonna get rid of all this here. I see why it's called an elephant kettle. That's kind of adorable. That's kind of adorable, completely. All right, get this all off here. Get all that stuff off right there. And 
Almost there, almost there. We are, we are about 83% clean. Pretty much like how my showers go. I am 83% clean, <laughs> even after a shower. Oh yeah, get that crap off the bottom there. All right, let's talk. To, oh wait, wait, I didn't put that in my inventory. Wait, right there. Hello, good sir. And I have grandma's egg for you. Um. Oh my, what are the chances? This is exactly what I was after. A coincidence, I'm sure. Deal? Deal. This is perfect. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. What? No. You were brand new, so how do I know? That's kind of funny, actually. I don't think I could call the shopkeep because he's already gone now. Yeah, he's gone right now, so. Let's go ahead and hop in here. End of day two. Mm. What are you looking for? Oh. Wah. Can I help you? So Chris said she would like an elephant kettle to uh, heat her tea. I'll have a look. It sounds like you need a clean elephant kettle. Wah. Glad you like it. Wah. Deal. It's perfect, so Orchid loves it. You've unlocked upcycling. A new upcycling tool has been added to your workbench. More than 20 fun new trinkets added to the stash. Use the upcycling tool to clean a trinket to get started. Use the P key to unlock upcycling in future play. Oh, okay. What does upcycling mean? <laughs> uh, oh. There's probably more efficient ways of doing this. Now I'm thinking about it. mask. Oh. Get this all nice and clean here. I think last time this was the hardest one because there's like little hidden, you gotta get like all the nooks and crannies. I think it's like in here, I think, right? It's like hidden spots, if I'm not mistaken. Or like hard to see spots, I should say. Around the horns, around the top up here. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, now what does this do? Up cycling, use the upcycling tool to, on a clean tree, get on the mat to begin cycle. Open the stash. When hovering the trinket over a valid slot. Oh. I guess I don't have a trinket yet, so I guess I can't do this, can I? Oh. Wait, maybe I do. Wait, what? Okay, pull this out. Oh. 
Oh. Not creepy at all. <laughs> You're just staring into your own light. <laughs> oh, okay. That's kind of funny, actually. That's actually kind of funny. Anyone? Anyone? I've helped the first person here, so it's like... I literally helped the first person, so there's... there's or the, the person for the day, so it's like I haven't... I don't have a chance to actually do anything else, you know what I gross actually someone will come looking for one too i like i'd like a uh, bedpan please oh, okay yeah just cleaned oh do you have a dirty one by chance um no i don't have a dirty bedpan i cleaned the one i had oh i'm sorry i was looking for a slightly used bedpan Yeah, I don't, I don't have one of those. Oh, okay. Well, if you guys ever do have one, please, uh, please let me know. Because, uh, or if you guys like, you know, the next day or two get a used bedpan, just let me know. I'd absolutely love to, you know, come purchase that off of you. That's how I imagine the conversation going. You know? Who's buying a bedpan? Ah. Oh, it's like Minesweeper, dude. Oh, it's so small. That's a magnifying glass. Dang it. I was trying my best to do it without... You know, without, um breaking anything or, or hitting the actual item I think I was so close damn it Oh, wait, what can you attach to this? Nothing. Okay. All right, well, put that in there. Things creepy. That yeah, thing's creepy. I can't believe I got a bedpan. A bedpan of all things. Yoo-hoo! I'm not judging. This kind of looks like a bedpan person. What a quaint looking shop. I like it. I need a horn for drinking. My own one got a bit too close to the furnace. I'll have a rummage. Okay, before I do that, let's go back to the workbench and let's see if I can't attach a trinket of some sort to the to the, the horn. You know? Maybe some tassel at the end or something like that? Oh yeah, right there. Right there. Let's do that. A pot lid, a magnifying glass lens. Oh, actually. Uh, a lich crown? Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, and then you can attach something onto there. Let's go with a, let's go with a 
Yeah, there we go. That's actually kind of cool. So now how much can I sell this for? Oh, wait, sorry. One second. I gotta put this back in here. Um, uh, drinking horn. That's not it. What would I have to keep? This is exactly what I was after. Wonderful. Deal? Deal. This is great. I'll make sure to visit again when I'm next in town. I wonder if you can, like, bargain with them. I just don't want to piss anyone off. But I wonder if you could bargain with them. No, I guess nothing there. Okay, so workbench. It says clean. Oops. There we go. Nice and clean. Oh, this one's going to be... No, oh, I hit it. Damn. See, so at one time I would like to do it where I don't have an issue and I never hit something, you know? That'd be so ridiculously cool. Wall this run would be awesome. This actually would have been the ones to do it too. Oh, a goblin lantern. Let's gotta get rid of all this stuff in here. Clean that up right there. Beautiful. You gotta like hit it with the tip of the sponge. You see that? Alright, and let's see what we can attach to you. I have nothing that I attach to you. Oh, yes, I do. Ooh, a Leer. So basically, I'm attaching a Leer. Wait, what? A bot? Why would I attach a bottle there? That's a dirty bottle. I want such a dirty bottle. Oh, see, that looks kind of cute. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, folks, I'm gonna hop off here. Thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet. Help you find your next favorite indie. Peace!